This is Larissa, the lockdown landy that I managed to get home just 17 minutes before we went into lockdown for the COVID-19. When you buy something, you have a quick look in the footwells to see how it looks, and I noticed these random gutter bolts but didn't take too much notice. Now that I'm stripping it down, I've discovered that somebody's cut the footwells out and replaced them with reasonably well-made aluminium replicas. They couldn't be welded in, of course, so they've bolted them in. I'm going to have to uh, pull these out and rivet them in. But my question to you guys is, is this something made by a company, or do you think this guy has made his own? Myself, I haven't seen repair panels made in aluminium like this. However, I've got uh, other rust to take care of. You can see where I've sandblasted in the bottom corners of the bulkhead and the rear corners where I've dug uh, bog out. It was filled out to the line. It was something like half an inch thick. So I've undrilled the rivets on the cover I'll take that off and panel beat that separately, but that will give me the line that this guard has to be brought out to. I've started grinding all of the um, bog out of here because I'm not satisfied. There's some weirdness going on in here too. Look, there are patches of tar, grease. I don't know what this stuff is, but it's under the bog. It hasn't caused it to drop out, but it's very, very weird that there should be so much of something so horrible directly between the bog and the aluminium. I'm grinding this back, and I'm going to panel beat it from scratch. I feel I can make a much better job of it. I learnt shrinking techniques for aluminium a while back, and aluminium is actually very forgiving to panel beat once you learn a few tricks. So I'm cleaning the bog out and getting it back to a clean panel. Then I'll gently push it out into shape from the inside, do a little bit of shrinking where needed, and then I'll apply a judicious amount of uh, filler just to get it looking absolutely perfect before I put the primer on. One of the other things I've realised while working on this is that when you look at something in a dark garage and the only light bulb is directly above its roof, you do miss a few things, like when the light falls on certain angles and you notice all the dents down the side that just weren't there before. But this is all pretty standard and par for the course. It's what's to be expected in something that's nearly 50 years old. And this is where Land Rovers do let go. Down in the footwells and the bottom of the pillars. Also another place to check is around the hinges here because water piles out of this gutter and runs straight through here and all over this area here. So it gets in behind the hinge and quite often they'll rust around here. This one's got a hint of it up there. But I can feel it's been worked on. Somebody's done something in here because there's a ridge here. I'll grind that out and have another look. I can hear a lot more bird life. Either they're coming into town because town's quieter or it's just audibly quieter and I can hear more birds. It's quite lovely out here. End of summer, birds singing, playing with my Land Rover. The transport people came out here yesterday and dropped off one of those trailers with an illuminated sign just down the road from my place. So I waited till it got dark and went down and Enjoyed the light show. Ah, uh, the serenity. Can you feel it? I did what sandblasting I could with some sand 
that I um, scraped up from the driveway and sieved, but it's blunt. Once sand's been used through a sandblaster, it doesn't have the sharp edges to do its job anymore, so all I managed was to get the worst of the rust off these little corners so I could have a look and blow some of that under seal off on this uh, double stiffener thickness thing up here. So now, um, I'm going to do a little bit of gardening.